Melton Pot, Tinseltown. Welcome to Hollywood. You're a hip hop artist, LA local. Tell us a bit about yourself and uh, your music. Um, well, uh, I'm a songwriter first, uh, and uh, uh, and I would love to say a corporate exec. I've got a uh, Hotbox LLC officially uh, incorporated, so. You know, I'm trying to incorporate a lot of my business knowledge along with my artistry of rap and uh, bringing it, bring you know, it bringing it to another light. How long have you been living here for? Uh, I was born and raised in L.A. Uh, left and moved to Miami about 10 years and made some noise out there with my rap group out there, Dead Serious Records, and then, you know, eventually came on back home and, and incorporated my own business and started doing a little more work here. Yeah. Um, given that it, there's so many people trying to make it to the top in this part of the world, like, what are kind of the struggles that you face to get recognized and get your music out there? Well, um, not to down the states or anything, but um, the states are so political as far as promotion. You know, they want you to have a proven track record and uh, they want all these radio playlist sheets and everything, as opposed to trying to break out as an artist overseas where you're accepted because they actually respect the craft. Yeah. Here it's become an industry and it's become a business. So what would your advice be to, you know, aspiring hip hop artists in, you know, in anywhere really like Australia or over here? Well, back in the days, uh, all you needed was the talent to do it, you know. It was just the talent and everybody was just hunting doing talent shows. Now, it's more or less like being your own executive. My advice would be to just invest in yourself. If you can, if you have the money, invest in yourself or go out there and find an investor that believes in you as much as you do and uh, spend some money. A bit of hard work too, isn't it? There's a lot of hard work, that's what I mean. It seems like everyone here is working like two or three jobs just to follow their dream, is that right? Uh, you're looking at one of them. You know, uh, I'm uh, production one in the uh, entertainment character production department here at Universal, so I'm kind of like doing a little moonlighting. Yeah. Uh, no one's sleeping here, are they? No, no, we don't sleep. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I could be a no-dose, popping pill, insomniac myself, but, you know, it's just a natural drive. This is what I want to do, so I'm, like, excited to do it, especially when I heard uh, uh, hip-hop TV is coming to the West Coast. I got something new coming to hip-hop TV for every one of you guys that's looking right now. Sweet, guys. And so when are you going to come visit us in Australia? Um, you know what? That's a good question. Uh, as soon as possible. How about if I say ASAP? As soon as I can get there, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you very much. So thank you for talking to Hip Hop TV. Thank you for showing us around LA. We've had the best time with you today. Universal Studios, best tour guide you could ever have. Thanks, Hotbox. <laughs> thank you. And I also want to thank all of you viewers out there that watch Hip Hop TV that, that has helped my video emerge amongst the ranks of a lot of well-known hip-hop rappers. I couldn't have done it without y'all. So I love every one of y'all. All right. Thanks very much, man. That's it. That's it, guys. Thanks.